Hello again. So I take a couple minutes today to make a video about the Mazda TPMS system that I created out of this RTL SDR, just a little rubber duck antenna. And I usually have a laptop mount in here because I'll park the car and I'll run ham radio from the steering wheel. Some content to come on that eventually, but the 705 fits there very nicely. And then uh, run an antenna out the window, just set up a little vertical, do some fun stuff there. So I had a flat tire the other day and I saw on my dash the little indicator come on and say, yo, you've got a low pressure in one of your tires. And I said, okay, car, it's your 2022 model, so which tire? And the car didn't have an answer. So I went to RTL 433 and decided to see if I could intercept some of the 315 megahertz uh, TPMS signals. The first thing I learned is that these only transmit um, when the car is moving and the wheels are accelerating, so they have a little accelerometer in the battery in the battery powered TPMS sensors on the wheels, and that will transmit if the tires are spinning, or if you drastically change the pressure in a tire. So I was trying to get data for a long time, and I was just seeing only my car trying to interrogate my key so that I could uh, turn on the car if the key was present, and I would see the key's response if it happened to be in my pocket at the time. Uh, so once I figured out how to drive around, I ran this, and I saw a couple of different decode results. This is a bunch of uh, snippet files of baseband data in 8-bit PCM um, that RTL4033 can split out if you can spit out if you run it and then you say I want snippets it'll save them all off and now you have baseband data you can play with or feedback in RTL4033 instead of having to run the SDR on live data all the time. So once I had this I played with it a little bit and I saw these truck ones don't make very much sense because we're looking at 704 kilopascals. I'm pretty sure my tires would explode and 250 C like I didn't think I was, you know, using my tires as a 3d printer hot end. So that seemed kind of whack. But if we look at this and I'm probably going to butcher how this is supposed to be pronounced. I'm going to go with a Barth 124 spider decoder showing temperatures back from when I was doing this, like minus five C it was pretty cold out here. So that makes some sense. And 220 kilopascals is roughly 30 to 35 PSI kind of region. So that was sensible. So then I just disabled the other decoders. So you can disable all decode decoders and there's a big list. And number 156 happens to be that Abarth 124 spider. And now I get all those decodes and I looked through these for a while and I looked at all the IDs and I found that I had four distinct IDs. You probably won't see all four in this data here, but you'll see some of them. And I wrote a Python script to map those IDs to a tire. I kind of took a guess. Then I inflated my tires to 35, 30, 25, and 20 PSI. Drove around in a circle, saw what pressures came back in my program, which was supposed to map it to one tire or another. And then um, from there, I was able to fix the mapping. And now I have a TPMS capability that'll individually tell me about my tires. So this Python script that I've written um, you can run it from the command line if you make it an executable and you have your Python things set up correctly. Kind of take a look at that real quick. Da, da, da. And you can see there's a mapping of tires in there. There were my initial guesses, then what I measured from it, and I remapped them. And this has two options because I wanted to be able to debug a little bit easier. There is a subprocess p open which calls it from files if you give it a command line argument and then that will let you kind of work with this snippet data that we have here so i can show you some output and then um i'll drive around and you can see the the live output from that of course i'll have to cut the video there for a second so if i just kill this real quick and we run this and then we say the tire map folder is where i was keeping all my snippet data Sorry, I gave it a folder that's going to not play nice because I gave it no files. Star.cu8. And you can see it's reading from all of those files there. And I get some data out of that. 
Um, I think the wild card character actually causes it to only match the first one when you do that through the command line arguments in Python, unless you put it in quotes. So we'll try it one more time here. There we go, and that one goes a lot more. And you can see kind of those are sensible tire pressure data coming out of there. So if I were to just run this over the air though, right now, we would get no data because I'm sitting here with my car not moving, so there's no signals for it to decode. But um, if I drive around real quick, you'll see something. So actually, I'm gonna show two things now. One is I'll go deflate a tire uh, down to like 25 PSI, and you'll see that just that tire is gonna transmit. So let me go do that real quick, and we'll come back and you'll see just that data. Okay, so actually I have the car on. And now we're at 25.5 PSI on the front left tire. And we can see we got some data packets. But the packets are only from the front left tire. It telling us 23.8 PSI from the TPMS sensor and nothing else. So just turning on the car doesn't make the TPMS sensors and the tires transmit. The car doesn't interrogate them like the scanner tool would. They just only go when there's changes or when they start to drive. So now I'll pull that setup in and we'll drive in a circle and I'll show you that we get data from the rest of the sensors. Okay, so I let this run for a minute or two here while I drove around and now we have data from all four tires. So my back right's a little extra inflated and that front left hovering around 25 PSI. So now I'm gonna fix the uh, front left. I got to use my little uh, tire inflator thingy and uh, we'll see that one transmit as it goes back to normal. Okay, so we'll set this to 33 PSI. And let this go. And now that's inflating. And we'll get a signal in a sec. Looks like we already got one because it went up a little bit. 25.4 there's another one 26.6 and so we'll just let that keep filling up until we get back up to that roughly 33 and a half psi we'll call it there but yeah model 2022 car had the sensors but didn't have an interface in the car to read from them so we can solve that with a friendly RTL SDR. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content.